the ultimate two-word horror story. Microwave tea. Have you seen the news? No, I'm trying to have a nice day. Yesterday. Eat 50,000 calories. Today, brisk walk. That'll sort it. Sorry, are you in the middle of lunch? No I just like holding sandwiches. Some handy safety tips if you're considering going out socializing. 1. Don't. How to make someone say you off. 1. Slap hands onto knees. 2. Say right. Tea? No, thanks, I don't drink tea. I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to leave. A Brit accepting a compliment, you look nice. No I don't I look terrible, but thank you. We should definitely organize something soon. Translation, see you at the next wedding. Ideas for getting more exercise next year. Move the biscuits farther away by a heavier kettle. No no, you keep in the middle of the path, it makes more sense that I fold myself into this hedge. I thought it might be nice to go round the room and say a bit about ourselves you thought wrong. Biscuit rule number one when opening a packet, any broken biscuits must be consumed immediately. I can't make it translation. I've put on pajamas and it's basically illegal to get back into clothes again. In Britain, this is actually a sentence that makes sense. Excuse me, sorry, do you mind if I just, thanks. Give them a ring. I've emailed. Be quicker to ring. I've sent a text as well. Just ring them. I'll send another email. It's so hot in Britain you could crack an egg on the pavement and it would just kind of sit there all raw. Sunday plans? Eat biscuits. Look a train. Tell other people to look a train. Say it's still raining. Sip of tea. Repeat. I might join you later translation. You have more chance of seeing Elvis riding a unicorn today than you have of seeing me. Being British is just staring blankly out of the window into the grey whilst muttering, they said it was supposed to be nice today. Oh dear, two people walking towards me on the pavement, surely they'll go single file, and we can all, nope, off into the busy road I go. Brit 1, sorry. Brit 2, sorry. 1, I thought you said something. 2, I don't think so. 1, oh, sorry. 2, sorry. Both laugh for hours. If you get on the train, while people are still getting off, may your tea be forever cold. Sorry, are you? Oh, no. No, I'm not, sorry. Ah. That's okay, haha, <laughs> thanks, sorry. Sorry. Transcript of a Brit asking another Brit if they're in the queue. Brit 1, I'm so sorry, I'm going to have to cancel. Brit 2, oh don't worry, let's do something in the new year. Both Brits nearly pass out with relief. How to pay with cash. 1. Count change out loud. 2. Count change again. 3. Hand over exact change. 4. Look nervous. 5. Say I think that's right. 6. Wait anxiously for results. How's your day going? Not too bad translations. 1. Surprisingly okay so far. 2. Worst day of my life. 3. Spectacularly. 4. It's exceedingly unremarkable. 5. I feel nothing. Try saying these without sounding sarcastic. 1. That's great. 2. Good for you. 3. Have fun. 4. Fascinating. 5. Thanks for that. 6. Well done you. 7. Good luck with that. 8. Sounds thrilling. 9. What a shame. 10. Wow. Procedure for being unthanked for door holding. 1. Keep eyes fixed on culprit. 2. Say you're welcome. 3. Shake head. 4. Mutter, unbelievable. 5. Watch as someone else walks through the door you're still holding. 6. Repeat. I thought we might get pizza tonight translation. We will be getting pizza tonight, I've been thinking about pizza all day, there is no discussion to be had, the decision is made, the wheels are in motion, the people, me, have spoken. It's a bloody nightmare. Meaning? Something is proving a mild inconvenience, typically used to describe slightly heavy traffic, or the internet not working, it's not ideal. Meaning, something terrible has happened, and life is almost certainly ruined. Brit 1, what do you fancy doing? Brit 2, I don't mind, what do you fancy? Brit 1, whatever you fancy. Brit 2, I honestly don't mind. 
Brit 1, you choose. Brit 2, I always choose. Brit 1, no, you don't. Brit 2, it's your turn. Brit 1, anyway, have a think. A British person, unable to stand upright due to the gust, leaves and twigs smashing into their head, with eyebrows blown clean from their face and sore eyes watering with tears quickly whipped away by the gale, is unable to resist uttering, bit windy. How to really enjoy the rain. 1. Stand at the window, inside. 2. Put non-tea drinking hand on hip. 3. Sip tea from mug. 4. Mutter look at that rain, it's really coming down now, or the garden needs it. 5. Say good job we got the cushions washing in. 6. Eat all the biscuits. Procedure for greeting guests. 1. Shout, they're here. 2. Scurry around the house frantically for a bit for no real reason. 3. Skulk and spy from window. 4. Await doorbell. 5. Pause for a few seconds, open door, start joyfully shouting, as if it's all a massive delightful surprise. The Sunday game. Rules. Stay horizontal. Remain in pajamas until lunch. Roast everything in the fridge eat 50,000 calories. Start worrying about your homework, you're an adult, as soon as you hear the Antiques Roadshow theme. First person to mention Monday loses. How to look busy. Frantically pretend to search for pen on and around desk. Keep saying right what was I doing? Whisper come on. At your computer angrily shake mouse. Type quickly while standing wearing a coat. Look at watch and swear, rush out the office, go home. The grass is yellow. Socks hurt. Cars are ovens. Pillows are turning. Fans are on setting three. All the ice has been bought. Trains are long saunas. People keep saying isn't it lovely, and you agree, even though you don't think it's lovely. It's only 25 degrees centigrade. Someone help us. How to really enjoy the rain. 1. Stand at the window, inside. 2. Put non-tea drinking hand on hip. 3. Sip tea from mug. 4. Mutter look at that rain. 5. Say good job we got the cushions washing in. 6. Eat all the biscuits. Subscribe for daily update.